Uh, welcome we as Tricky Plus Entertainment tunataka kuwakaribisha huku Expressway Lounge kama mwanavyo nyuma yetu kuna maneno so sasa ni nyinyi mniambie kitu mnasema mnataka tuseme Wow. Tricky comedy and vibes ni like the name suggests is a is a comic with a lot of vibes platform that we are launching with my team. My team is bigger than you can see. Uh even you busy work prepare mambo. You know coming up and, and running these shows is not easy. So nimeleta dulu representatives leo na naweza wa introduce before tuendelee. Uh, to my left is my stand up comedy content lead Hello guys sorry usemanga niachi yange nimekuachia introduce kwa ufupi tu yeah well my name is Mitch I'm a stand up comedian a baddest host actually the host with the most you know I'm a radio presenter and a scholar thank you Thank you so much. Huyu ndio anasimamia maneno ya stand up comedy. Kusimamia ni kumaanisha the lineup ya stand up comedy. Where the comedians who will be coming on stage tuko na Creative Hub. Eh yeye ndo anatusaidianga ku organize that lineup. To my right is another gentleman mwenye anajua mjamuona sana na mimi <laughs> but nilikuwa tukiwork na yeye yeah. chini ya maji. He's also a creative but uh, dealing with some other sort of vibe when it comes to entertainment. Twende kazi master. So thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Master Kimsi, uh, representing uh, Pibak Theater. Uh, basically Pibak Theater we are involved in film production and theater production. Uh, that's why we have uh, partnered with uh, Tricky uh, to bring you a different uh, vibe when it comes to comedy and shows. And I'm here representing uh, the director uh, for Pibag Theater, Naito Boni Kanyura, and uh, we promise to give you one. Should I say hell of a show? Yeah, it's over. Hell, hell, hell. hell. Sema. 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 Okay, hell. one hell of a show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This is Mitch comedian. You know him. This is Master Kimsi, and uh, we are ready for you guys. Yeah. So sure. yes. So a TV show is called the Three Epics. Mm. The reason is to why we are here with this presser and tunachocha sana hivi because the first show in fact is our launch edition. The first one is our launch edition. Launch edition meaning hiyo ndio show yenye itatupea ile pace. So hiyo ni ya ku launch. This is not a one time gig like we did last year. Last year we did a one time gig in Nairobi Cinema Tricky Comedy Circuit. But this one is is a show. It's a show that will be running, happening every Saturday. Uh, but here, kwanza tunataka wase wa kam, ndio wajue yoni nini tukwa na waitia. Thank you so much. When we were introducing ourselves, ulisikia kwa upande wa left, ni mesema lead wa stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy ni ile mmetuzoya nayo. Ile ya stand-up comedians giving their sets on stage. And on my right, Master Kimsi has talked about P-Bug, which is a film production and a theater... Uh, hub or else so there is something extra there are several segments that we are introducing in our show kuna vitu okay eh uh, wacha ni wacha ni iseme in in layman's language eh uh, of course to kila unji kitu lazima tupewe wa Kenya ama audience yetu something something new that's why our tagline is fresh vibes tunataka kuwa pia kitu mpya we don't want to come and then show the world whatever they are used to tunataka ku change the game we want to give something special and that something something special is trying to be diverse on stage trying to showcase the diversity of of theater on stage the diversity of live performances on stage so apart from stand up comedy uh, kuna other versions of comedy mingi sana kuna sketches that will be uh, doing that and that one will be uh, cooked and prepared and served through their door uh, apart from those sketches tutakuwa na baking uh, zone baking zone mtaijua mkikuja uh, atupiki but kuna kitu tutapika stage <laughs> apart from that tutakuwa na special guests in our show and the special guests sisi hatukuje kuwafanyia interview kama nyinyi 
hiyo ni kazi yenu wakikuja show we know what we will do to them uh, for us to entertain the audience so uh, kufikia hapo umeshaona picture that our show is not just the normal show yenye watu wamezoea kuona ya mtu akiweka stand up comedy show ni wasadiki kuja na line up ni unaita msanii 1 msanii 2 msanii 3 and then show inaisha no we have a whole vibe to give kenyans but this all vibe is packaged and uh, and and maybe imewekwa layer na ikafungwa vizuri in a comic way because we are comedians why did you choose this place first of all before nijibu hiyo swali eh hii idea tumekuwa nayo for long sana hii idea ya ku execute a comic vibe show na ku produce vizuri ndio tu serve kwa wale wase wenye hawezi kama show live our audience even outside the country e, ni idea tumekuwa nayo hii kitu imekuja tu and one of the considerations that uh, anybody does akianzisha any new venture number one lazima ufanye market research lazima ufanye research zingine kama za for example for a show like this lazima ufanye research kidogo ya kujua is this something that the audience will receive ama ni kitu irrelevant number two, uh, what is the best location that unaweza ambia watu wa kam na wakuje kwa kwa, kwa uraisi na bila ku struggle and even after that again you have also to consider about the venue um, convenience in terms of production in terms of uh, uh, setting making the setup and all that so kujibu swali yako before i found this uh, dome theater yenye iko hapa yenye mmeona i don't know mungeweza kuzoom watu waone wangejua ni kwa nini i had a lot of uh, scouting around nairobi a lot of scouting hakuna mahali zijaingia kwa hizi places huku nimeenda thika road nikaangalia nikaingia langata road nikaangalia nikaingia uh, town katikati ngong road then one day i just walked in na sikuwa najua hii place kama iko na theater dome kama hii i thought express will launch into ni club na maybe eh, na hiyo uwanja ina kwangaka garden na hapo nje so i didn't know if you look at this theater dome it it gives you the feeling of a of a, of a comedy night hata wewe ukiona it's easy to light it's easy to set up sound it's easy to uh, to, to have the set ya yeah, audience it's easy to have a good set so this ili nikalia the most ideal venue to execute my idea tricky yes uh, recently tuliona niliona show yake na mm. na concept yake inakaa kwenye kuleta fresh air kuleta kitu tofauti ambacho kidogo kufanyika kwa sababu mm. stage yake kulikuwa na dynamism kubwa sana ambayo probably tuliona before kwenye comedy yetu mm. na niko sure ni kulibu wako kwenye industry ya comedy mm. na pia kila mtu akona nishi yake Mm. Lakini wewe umesema uli ni idea ambayo nyinyi mlifikiria kitambo sana. Mm. Asa wakati mmeona yeye amefanya kitu kama kile ili ilifanya mbadilishe mawazo yenu vitu kadhaa ama kuna pressure plan imewekea lazima mwe clips hiyo level ambayo alipeleka. <laughs> uh, what Kenya did is totally different from our idea. Uh, Kenya did uh, his way na hiyo ndio brand yake. Na hiyo ndio watu wanamjua nayo because of course kena angekuja aanze kufanya stand up comedy watu hawamjui hivyo wanampenda akiwa na hizo character and those scenarios which worked best so for us we have been in the game stand up comedy for long I think this is my seventh year i have learned a lot but sasa nikafikiria nikaona nikiletea watu show tu ya stand up comedy kama yenye ni grow then i want have grown siko naelewa nitakuwa tu na, na, na replicate tu where i grew ni, ni, ni kama ku change shule tu una change uniform peke yake i don't want to do that and that is why in my show you will see less of those comedians that you are used to hao wa huko sitaki ku replicate chachil show hapa that's to, to answer you one number two, tukafikiria na my team apart from um, just stand up comedy what else can we give people uh, let me answer you for your information mimi personally MC Tricky I have grown in theater more than in stand up comedy stage grew me before I did stand up and Pbug uh, na huyu na hiyo team it is a team that grew me just to give you a, a small history uh, Pbug na Tricky Plus 
roots zetu ziko Kenya University. We had a group called Kenyatta University Travel in Theater. Eh, Kenyatta University Travel in Theater, when we were in KU, we used to perform sketches in stage, on stage. We, we didn't even know stand-up comedy. Tuliko tunafanya hizo, hizo skits. Uh, skits. What Kenya <coughs> stage, we used to do that 10 years ago on stage. In fact, uh, the first people to introduce that on stage, walikuwa wase, walikuwa walikuwa ridiculous. Kama mna wajua, nini ni Gen Z. How do wali tufuza? Because they are the ones who started the travel in theater I'm talking about. Kina Nyambane, Kina Tony Juguna, Kiarie, even our father Churchill, alikuwa napewa roles huko. They are the first people to do sketches. Sketches means they had uh, big characters. Kama Nyambane alikuwa moi, and then people knew about that. Iyo ika translate. When I was joining Kenyatta University Travel in Theater, nilipata majama wa bias on stage. We used to come up with skits, and then we come up with comic lines na tuna entertain audience. A whole night with sketches, without stand-up. Tuna hitha piga hata skit kumi. Sasa hawa, sababu walisomea hiyo na wameiva, nikaona badala ya kujifanya mjuaji, eh, na ndiyo walinifunza hiyo stage work. Nikaona, why can't we partner with them? Watulete hiyo vibe ya live sketches on stage. Na mimi na saidi yangu na Mitch, na wale tunajua stand-up, tuwalete vibe ya stand-up. Once you combine the two, we come up with something better and bigger. So, so. And tricky talking of uh, stand-up comedy. Mm. Na nani unasema since Chachila anche kufanya comedy? Najwa maluna elekea, yae malizia. Since Chachila... Comedian ni medala sana. Wiko uto kwa 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 Yo, Micha, no, 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 what is your opinion on that? <laughs> <laughs> my, my honest opinion, Trudy. Ah, sana comedians now to Melala. Wacha ni seme ukweli. Unajua sometimes yo vizuri kuji, kuji teteanga. Mm. Sure. Sana comedian to Melala. Let me explain why to Melala. I don't care when you are going to Because I don't care when you are going to be in the house. I don't care when you are going to be in the house. I don't care when you are going to Anyway, the point is this. Wakati mutandao imekamu, juzi, eh, when we had the social media eh, entertainment, ikakuja wakati wa corona, watu wakakimbia huko kwa entertain watu. Mutandao ilifanya wasaniwa kwa wazembe sana. Uzembe iliingia inside, outside. Especially for those entertainers when you walikuwa wa stage. Stand up comedians. Stand up comedians ni seme, ama any comedians, because of what? Mutandao squeezy is the easiest shortcut to entertain. It's you gonna get aina costs, aina time investment, aina okay, you gonna time investment, yes, but you can't compare it with stage. So just like any other business person, tunge kimbili ya wapi. Lazima tu kimbie, mali penye ni raisi kuproduce. For example, eh, ye idea tukona yo, tunge kete chini tuamwe, kama tricky plus entertainment eh, three years ago, tulikuwa na movement and we that's where we started with makwaka na kina nyachio na kina Diana Luvanda na kina Masima Sai tukaanza tu hiyo entertainment group ya ku shoot to series and that's where watu walijulia makwaka na Kasioki and we did it and it worked we got so many endorsements na tukatengeneza do lakini nikafika mahali nikaona hii uzembe hapana hii tukiendelea hivi stay sustained for for long and then pia nika, nika notice that online entertainment kama msani ina ni limit sio kwa get i can only do uh, vines or or some series and then na pia ni kala audience yetu audience yetu ikikuona sana pale kwa mtandao <laughs> kuna venye pia ita move on na mwenye na mwenye ana come next but this no no at oh baba yetu chachi yes. atumwangushi in fact by doing this <clears throat> tunataka kuendeleza hiyo Iyo, iyo gospel yake. Ebu imagine chachi ilivenye hame to grow. And then after to meiva. Ye ya nataka ku, kufanya vitu zingine. Of course chachi cannot continue doing the same show. Pia nyinyi mutachoka. Oh, sita, sita muambia hache. But. <laughs> no but uh, you understand me. But ebu imagine na kitu grow hivi. Alafu tukisha hiva. Aune tumezembe ya tena. Tumiachilia whatever eh, kitu enya li, alingangana kujenga. Hii industry alingangana sana. Sio raisi kuiweka mahali aliweka. We are one of the best countries in Africa. Na wengi wenu mmekuru huko kwa chachi. Sisi wote sio wetu wengi wetu. Sisi wote. After kuiva tena tukuje tulale. Sisi wote twende tukapigane huko kwa mtandao. Sasa hata wewe umeona mmelala. Mimi wote yuko. Ndio maana nimeamka. 
Ndio maana tuko hapa. Mimi pia sema kitu. Yes. Simfai kisoni ishe. Ama nitakuita. Anyway, on, on a serious note, you, you, it's valid, yeah? yeah. Uh, it's been it's been dormant for a minute. But now there's something you need to understand. To set up a stage uh, to set up a stand up comedy show, it's expensive. Very expensive. That's why I talked about the easiest shortcut. Mm. Mtandao. Mtandao. Get. So to put up something like this, it needs you to, you know, gather the energy, you know, make sure you have the muscles. Thank you so much, bro. Ni light imeongezwa watu wenye wao ni light, light. At least ndio waone. Na watu watu wanaangalia. Na na wamekumulika zaidi. So, malizia trudi swali yako. Eh, so you cannot uh, well on a serious note though. There are some guys who have the the muscles kuna wasi wako na hizo muscles not just tricky z ukiangalia don't want to mention names but if you want i could kuna wasi wanaweza set up but wamekuwa lazy you know most of the stand up comedians wenye wamekuanga wenye walianza you know especially wenye hata kuna wenye ulikamu ulikamu ukapata you see many of them waliingia kama kwa mtandao wakapotea if you look carefully most of the uh, senior stand up comedians wamekuwa ma socialite unani get ah wachi hapo Next question. <laughs> so that is why. Nataka tutandikwe. Hata show ijaanza. So that's why ku take up ku take up challenge kai ni better. Why you why you violence? I don't want peace. Anyway, and anyway. So that's why ku take up challenge kai ni better and so it's a good initiative to 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 bring it up. But it's not easy to set to set up a stand up comedy show but with this one we show it's go, at least it it am shall say. Yes. Uh in the song lingine. Um hapa Kenya kuna stand up kuna comedy club nyingi siku hizi mingi hebu sitaji okay mimi najua hii um, ya kina itunani uh, the indian guy uh, Yeah. Okay, jina lake ndo nalisahau. Unaona show umesema mingi nikashindwa ziko wapi? Yeah, api hapa. Hata pasi. No show ya kina Dag is a nice one. Yeah. I also attend it chini ya maji hata hata waji wangi because it's doing good and I learn a lot. That's one of the best comedy clubs that is happening around Nairobi. No, anaongelea yeah. stand up collective. Si ndio hiyo ya kina Dag. Eh, yeah. 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 good yeah. platform yeah. 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 Kuna kitu nilika chini last year. Last year I was invited na Koimzungu kwa Cheka 2 comedy na Tanzania. And I learned a lot. Whenever I travel outside to perform, siendangi tu kupiga mistari, naendanga ku learn the industry. And I am telling you the truth. Hey, as we speak our send me onao wanapiga country tour. Eh, uh, comedy hiyo ilikuwa iko. In fact, Koi ndio amekuja na hiyo vibe fulani ya watu Tanzania kwa accept stand up comedy. Uh, Uh, kuna vibe ina sweep huko yenye ni big and it's a wave yeah. and uh, the, i felt challenged because we were the kings not only in south africa in africa we are still the kings of course yeah. melewa yeah. but ile wave wame come now and you know tanzanians it's something that we should uh, take on some notes from because our say wakiamua kuvuruga industry wataivuruga na wata make impression wa Tanzania nao ni wazuri kwa ni they know how to uh, they know how to package yeah. well, wao talented kutubliko, but they know how to package the craft and they know how to kusuka audience yao iwa i support kitu ikae big sasa hii bro unajua cheka tu comedy ukiangalia ile attendance yake yenye watu wanakaa show mi personally niliitwa kwa show tu ya kawaida and that dome was filled by around 3000 people Meget? So there is a vibe in your manager stand up which is good. Ndio sasa wakikuja wa match up na sisi na Uganda pia wana comedy store ya nani ya Mwanji inapigwa. Rwanda pia wanapiga. So you can imagine all those countries what ndio wameamka sasa usanii kwa topmost. Alafu hapa Kenya sisi stand up comedy tumejishika hivi. Hata tutaibisha mzai wetu Churchill bwana. Cuz hatuwezi expect Churchill ashinde kutubeba kwa mgongo tu every time every time tuko kwa mgongo tu tuko kwa mgongo tu. There's one thing I say eh. Na hiyo ndio kitu tangu nijua hivyo ndo nilianza ku change my mindset kitambo when churchill used to call for a churchill show comedy night sisi tulikuwa tunafika tunapata dome imejaa watu 7000 tunaingia stage tunapewa mic 
tunawaangusha tunawachekesha tukitoka pale tunatoka tukifikiria sisi ni wakubwa not knowing that hiyo audience sio yetu <laughs> ni ya chachi until msee itesho kama hii yangu wasee wakamu waone hivi that's the only way you can measure your brand so tukiendelea kufidi wana chachi ile audience yake audience yake audience yake tutazeeka ile siku utaamua kufanya kitu yako uta notice una kuanga na wasee watatu <laughs> wenye ni wako wewe <laughs> better i start early <laughs> na na nao ni wale wenye wanakuja kwa gate anakwambia wazee ni pay complimentary good i have done specials and i will say it for free i have done them ya kwanza audience ndo nikajua audience ya tricky ni nani cause wale wasee walika am show sita wadharau but ndo nilijua ni yake nani hiyo time nilipata audience ya wase wenye ni ma fanatics but hawawezi afford tiko ya dhao that was 20 20 na ndo mafans wangu 2018 na mimi nilikuwa nafikiria nita, ati nitapata wale wase chachi na wigi ya show wanalipa 2000 kumbe hiyo sio audience yangu the point is kama msani lazima niji challenge ndo ni hiyo brand yangu inaelekea wapi tunaenda wapi ama tukoaje as a brand na pia mimi ni kuwe na timu yangu kama ile ya chachi. Yes. Mm. Ati ki, ati uliona nikifanya nini? Wapi? Voluptuous. Andika hiyo, andika hiyo. Volo what? Andika hiyo, voluptuous. Voluptuous. No no, wacha tuanzie, wacha tuanzie kidosho. Kidosho. Yeah, the one I've learned. She was talking about the shows that Zenaya stuck with her brother. Can you tell us about the voluptuous? Why exactly? Yeah, I, I also had the same question. Masi Masai, Masi Masai kuja hapa. You have a phone call to answer. You have a voluptuous question. Voluptuous. Mm-hmm. Oh, hiyo ni ile tour yangu ya Australia ya ya April. Eh, hiyo tour we are working with so many people. Sio yangu peke yake kuna ma promoter, kuna ma partners. Naenda na MC Jesse by the way. Yeah. April. Eh. Ukiongea vizuri ukipiga jokes kali kwa hiyo show. Nitakubeba. <laughs> Walai ukipiga jokes kali so si tarehe tatu ile nyanya yako hiyo achana nayo aunt yangu yeye yeah, yeah, australia oh hiyo kidosho watu wakasema watu hiyo advertising eh every publicity is good whether bad or good simuli mlikuwa mnamtoanisha lakini simulijua kuhusu show thank you so much <laughs> chachil you were expecting to feel his presence through many ways si lazima afike physically but whatever thing you will find here you will be here a very good percentage but a time will come of course ni muinvite sisi muita saa hii na hii kichoma mara ya kwanza chuko na wewe mbona unajui mbona no no see tu ni ile tu ni ile tu atakuja wacha ni muite wacha hiyo yake yenye nitamuita wacha ni ambi audience to come to celebrate kwa show yangu si ndio ni ikuwe kitu special asikuje tu kama mtu lazima ni mlete kama king Yeah, but you uh, expect that. Yeah. Uh, um, because are we expecting because we come at to expect to see the comedians in kind of comedians. We are coming. Uh, comedians when maybe I would have to see 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 maybe I hapa nje ni venye wewe ni venye unajua watu wanatujua from Churchill show ni venye hawajapitia huko hata kwa show yangu naleta comedian wa Tanzania mwenye ni established so my point was eh, i didn't want to replicate the Churchill show lineup siko na nielewa ati nikiwa hapa stage na waita wote tu wakifuatana so unajua melewa so nitawaletea comedians already established but again i also have a segment to grow talents just like how chachil introduced me on stage na audience ikanikubali nikiwa tu ovyo ovyo mpaka wakani grow why not na pia nyinyi audience nikikuja nitaibemeleza niambie pole pole tu eh, tukiona comedian stand up comedian mzuri nilifanya auditions juzi and they came around 100 people hey, hey. Well, hey, hata hivi tutachukua nani tuache nani wale wa noma tu eh? wale wa noma peke yake <laughs> mtawaona kwa show mm. Mm. yes 
Na, safi. We umetumwa na nani? Anyway. <laughs> Umelipwa. <laughs> Umelipwa. <laughs> safi bro lakini. Maswali yako mazuri by the way. Uh, kuna mm. na tu na context ama reference ya probably US. Wanaangalia kwa mfano ukiangalia special zao. Mm. Uh, specifically ukimwangalia mtu kama Jeff. Najua level is tofauti labda yake mm. hata kwa standards za US. Okay. But, but yeye yeah, ako labda heavy on how good to go see a bit more mm. na tukia kwa society. Mm. Hata <laughs> Hakuna confidence ya kutengeneza jokes kuhusu Sema hata disable skills kwa hii special yati less Dev juzi ya meanza na wawo Ha meanza hivi Kiki Dev Eee malizia Kwa context yetu ya Kenya probably watu tokuwa na angali ya Umesema ni anyway Kwa kwa context yetu watu tokuwa na angali ya vitu mawavi na profit Sana sana hata economy ama recent events ama wawo sumetokea Watu labda femicide na vitu kama hivu Kuona dhani watu auto expect kuweza tokea vitu ambavyo na address society hata kama ni hash to tumia comedy yako either government ama anything in affect society very good very good question uh, comedy is is real life 